The way to get rid of tension is to do just the opposite of all the things that cause it. Hello everyone, this is Yugo from Ichiban Painting and today it's going to be part 2 of the Storm Eagle. So now I'm applying the decals. So first thing I did is I used the Vallejo uh, medium, decal medium and I put it on and then soaked the decal in water and then I applied it on the model. So now I'm brushing it off just to make sure it's smooth and I'm going to do another decal right there. So same thing gonna be applying decal medium and then after that once uh, the sticker is the transfer is is wet then I'm gonna put it on the model like this and brush it off again So once your decal, uh, the decal medium is actually dry and the decal stick there, I use a uh, Vallejo decal fix and just apply it on it and that's pretty much it. As you can see there's a border here where the color change where you apply the decal medium. That's not really a big problem because right now what we're going to do actually, what you're seeing right now is me, I'm going to be shooting um, some, um, some flat clear on top of it just to make it more uniform. And at the same time, you know, if you're not going to be doing some weathering or anything, you do need to be careful when you apply the decal medium and the decal fix not to go too much over the area where the actual decal is going to be. But in this one, there's going to be, uh, you know, like soot and, and, and burnt mark on the model made on the wings and everything. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be camouflaging those areas. So there's no problem with that. So here using a Vallejo liquid gold, I'm doing the Aquila signs uh, on it. You know, I love liquid gold, it, it, it applies really well, it's a really nice, um, um, really nice golds and metallic colors to work with. Uh, they do a stunning result, they look really great and they're really easy to apply. basically here what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some scratch marks so I do want those scratch marks to have a, a demarcation so I'm going to outline them in black first so I'm going to do the area where I'm going to be doing those scratch some scratch won't have, have uh, black but some scratch will so for the scratches that I will be having black that's what I'm doing right now so I'm just doing it randomly on the model and then after that I'm going to fill those up with some silver just to make it look nice Now we're going to be applying this silver. So I, I, I do tend to use uh, bolt gun metal and actually uh, what I do is I dilute it a little bit, um, probably a 2 to 1, uh, just to make it pretty thin so that way uh, on the black it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit transparent so the black's going to show through and it's going to give a pretty good uh, effect on those. And I'm not sure you're going to see it in this uh, video, I don't think I filmed it. But basically once all those scratch, scratches were done, what I did is I applied a Devlin Mud uh, wash just on top of those washes to give a texture and uh, of, uh, for the metallic colors just to, to make them look nice.
Now on the engine. So what I did is I used bolt gun metal. Uh, I did a base coat of black, then a base coat of bolt gun metal. And then I'm applying uh, Devlin Mud Wash on the engine. So basically, actually, I did apply probably like three or five coats, but in between three or five coats of Devlin Mud, and in between I did one coat of black, uh, just to give a lot of depth and texture to the metallic, just to make it look like it, you know, it's been old and, and aged. So just add a lot of uh, character to the middle of colors when especially devil and mud you know react really well and does give a really good effect to the metallic colors so um that oh you know i said i didn't think i filmed it now I, I actually did so basically what you're seeing right now is that so i'm applying that devil and mud to all the areas where i applied some metallic color just to tone down a little bit of uh, the metallic color and to give it a you know a nice texture So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a dry brush, so I'm dry brushing the, the whole engine once the um, the Devlin mud was done, just to give a, the engine just a little bit more pop, have the edges, uh, you know, pop more, and, and just, you know, make the whole, you know, engine look like, you know, it has life. It's, it's hard to explain, but just to give it, you know, again, I can say texture, but it's really to give it character and stuff like that. So basically we're going to be doing some rust so what i'm doing right now is i put some um gold uh, not gold wow uh, i'm putting some um uh burnt umber uh paint and burnt umber pigments and mix them and them together that's what you saw on the palette and now i'll outline it some areas with uh with some blue just to give you know some edges like the paint faded away and stuff like that and then after that the, the rust attacks the, those areas and then i paint it on uh, by adding the pigment into the mix of paint, it's going to make the, the paint dry really, really dusty and crumbly and it's really going to look like rust. So it's going to give a really, really nice effect. So basically now I changed my mix, one drop of burnt umber, one drop of fire orange and I'm going to put some orange rusty pigment into the mix. So just to give the def definition of this and actually I'm going to be doing also another uh, darker colors mixed with black pigment. Just you know because rust doesn't have all the same colors so I really want to have some areas that have different colors uh, on the rust uh, where you know the rust is going to attack the model. So basically for, for that, that's pretty much it. If you want pictures of the whole model, uh, you know, uh, you're going to have to wait until I finish the whole thing. It's going to be in the last tutorial, but that's where I was when I did the tutorial. Uh, now, you know, parts are advancing and everything. So I'm going to be doing a part three where I'm going to have, you know, finishing touch, uh, finishing touches and also the, the last weathering, which is going to be the, the burnt mark and the soot mark. And I'm going to tie up everything together. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a it's more of a showcase of me working than a tutorial, but uh, I hope that it was informative. So I'll see you on the next video, guys. Cheers for watching.